uh, in this module i'll talk about the server side programming the benefit the biggest benefit of server side programming is obvious that you make changes you do the maintenance you do the installation you do everything at one end which is the server end that helps a lot uh, it results into a thin client and it does not requires installation at all the clients it's easy to maintain and there are many many benefits now the standard that the, the de facto standard for interfacing the web application with the database is cgi common gateway interface now remember one thing cgi is not a library it is not a programming paradigm it is a protocol it is a protocol and whenever there is a cgi call a process is spawned generated but remember that the server which spawns the process these processes are not remembered by the server they cannot be shared by the server they are closed also they are terminated also and by default cgi does not offers distributed processing but cgi has been around for a while and it has been used and it is in use also and of course it was followed by fast cgi so let me go into more details so this is what i will be covering in this module what is cgi how to execute cgi step by step step by step uh, not in lot of details but you will get the idea and the cgi header which tells that uh, for a certain step it is an image it is text it is html it is code whatever the advantages and disadvantages of having cgi and finally the fast or extended cgi so let's go into more details so as i said earlier cgi is not a library it is a protocol it means that it is language independent okay is a protocol and a library you can write cgi script in c you can write cgi script in c++ you can write cgi script in java also and so on so it is language independent and cgi enables web servers to launch external programs what happens is that when i click on a link traditionally uh, the corresponding server opens a file for me if it's a text file but for a cgi environment when i click on a link and at the other end i have cgi script then the server launches that cgi script and if it computes something it returns that result as a computed contents of a file to the end user this is how it works and enables database access from the browser so this is a much better approach then the client side approaches which were covered in the last module so it helps me get the data from the database from using the cgi script remember it is language independent so how do it works you invoke the cgi program by a click by loading a page and then you must have the permission to launch the cgi program the permission is set uh then check for authorization if it's needed and prepare the environment variables and then it outputs and terminates and there is no remembering there is no record there is no memory okay server sends the data and closes the connection so this is a disadvantage that whenever i make a request uh, i open a connection okay i get the data the connection is closed i make another request again make a request process is spawned open a connection get the data and the connection is closed this is very inefficient way of doing something which is done repeatedly of course it will not result in a high performance solution but it offers a solution and of course whatever is uh, returned the browser displays it on the screen okay it could be the contents of a database it could be the result of certain computation and so on which is done at the server end then of course this is the cgi header i was talking about so it can help if it is plain is html plain text it could be a gif compressed image okay 
it could be a movie it could be audio and so on so all those things are included in the header so it's a comprehensive header okay and that contains all the information which is required for the CGI script to run which I showed you in the last slide so what are the advantages and disadvantages of having CGI there are many of such advantages one the biggest is the simplicity it's very simple it is simple it is efficient is it is effective and it is not only language independent it is server independence also independent of the server independent of the language is a protocol how you do certain things okay and that is built into uh, the, the the browser can support it and it's widely accepted these are the biggest advantages of CGI scripting disadvantages is the server in the middle because everything has to go through the server okay go through the server and that creates a bottleneck if there's a lot of traffic right or if there is a scenario like uh, like Yahoo where hundreds and thousands of processes are spawned there's a lot of congestion that will hurt the performance and lag the transaction support remember it is stateless stateless server generates new thread for each CGI program which I already mentioned there could be hundred thousand of such of them there's no built-in security is not very secure so these are some of the disadvantages of CGI scripting so how or what is done to take care of these issues which is extended or fast CGI so what is there in the extended or fast CGI it is language independent as before it is open standard as before as before independent as before but it is distributed computing it means that the CGI script can be made to run and retrieve data from not a single database server from different database servers combine the results and give you higher performance solution better performance uh, remember high performance is not in the context of high performance computer architecture but better performance quick results allocating the processes the programmer can set the processes which will be allocated to the CGI script instead of having a single process spawn for each request so it means it will give better performance instead of doing something repeatedly so this is all I have for this module thank you very much